Hey everyone, this is our first video update. We are now starting week one of the course. I think that what we'll probably say now more than anything else is a quick conversation about the equipment. Many of you are concerned that I'm being a little too picky in what I'm requiring of you. Now, first of all, I am not requiring anything of you. What I'm doing is showing you what I do and my technique. My hope is that you'll like what I make, the images that I make, and follow my lead. And for the most part, the exercises that we've developed really are intended to be used with a 105 macro lens on a camera that can take lenses. It is not going to work for you if you're going to just use a, a snap and shoot or whatever you call it these days. It, you, you really want to uh, meet the standards, if I could say that, that we are suggesting you pay attention to. Uh, it is true that you can on occasion use extension tubes instead of for example, let's say you don't have as much of a macro lens as you'd like, and so you can use tube extensions it's lo as long as they don't have any glass, but you're going to be using F, uh, sorry, you'll be losing f-stops in the process, and you'll find out more about aperture and f-stops in, in the oncoming weeks. So those of you who are technically savvy, I, I hope that you'll find what our exercises have been come developed into and the, and the ideas in the course will be uh, appropriate for your needs as well. But uh, ju yeah, just getting back to the equipment, uh, I, for example, when we get up to using a camera and a lens, uh, which is in week two, you're going to see that I'm going to suggest using software. And you'll probably say, why is she doing that? Well, I'd like to hope that I'm going to be making a case for that. So in the end, please consider following what we're suggesting. Uh, it works for me, and my hope is that what works for me is gonna work for you. But this coming week, we're going to have more fun in the sense that you're not gonna work that hard because you're gonna be using a flatbed scanner, and you're going to be a bit shocked at some of the wonderful images you can get from that. So in any event, we hope we're going to create something wonderful for you. Have fun this week.